they couldn't possibly have known this. We're doing a TR, so let's type it in. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code <laughs> by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. That's fairly obvious where it wants us to go. I can't get any further down there. But let's go and do... Amazing this place ever passed its safety inspection. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel <laughs> this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I have to try that one next time. Mega Racer 25, hello. <laughs> there, he's probably lost in the, middle, in the bowels of this. All right, pushing the button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he did he the strength to find out? Ah, another button. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to <laughs> images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Right, let's enter the room with the big flashing no. light, shall we? He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? <laughs> Never! Pirate. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. <laughs> well, we're following the narrator, so let's dismantle the controls once and for all. Uh, 427 Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty Was it over? 
probably not. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Little did he notice the sniper on the rooftop nearby. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> and Cheevan unlocked. Beat the game. Here we are again, guys. Okay, we have had an hour and a half of this, and I've got to be honest with you, I am really enjoying it. But there was two winners to this week's vote, this and Project Zomboid, so I'm going to ask you guys now to vote whether you'd like me to carry on playing this for another hour, or I go and play Project Zomboid for an hour. Oh yes, we will do the adventure ending at the very least because I owe Kree Razone that. But if you could vote. Okay, and don't worry about it, Chris. There are so many endings to this game that uh, you have... I'm not really spoiling it for you. Go and wait a couple of months and then just play this game and it'll be all new to you. This, okay, we're going to play this. I'll put Project Zomboid back into the voting for next week. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I want to enter input. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single no, difference, not let me. nor did it advance the story in any way. No. Can't enter input this time. Alright, let's move on. Alright, bit late. Thanks for coming along, really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, right, then left. he entered the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt like headed, butterflies in his stomach, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Screech! And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight Down ahead here. to the opposite door, and got back on track. Let's go down here, shall we?
But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander yeah, about. It sounded like it was raining in the game. Off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, uh, from here, it's, um... Left. Do I have any choice? These doors aren't going to open, are they? No. No, okay, let's go through this way. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. <laughs> no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Make your what mind was up, I man. thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left... <laughs> All down, right, Chris, see left, you later. <laughs> right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. All right, let's go through this one. The rather conveniently part. Who ever parks like that? You see that in games so often to block the road, but... Oh, we have a... oh here we are. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um... Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. Four, two, seven, the whole story oh, yeah. completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Huh? Oh, here we go again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Turn these monitors off. I don't know if it does anything. No. Stanley's 427 and all it shows is his office. Oh, everyone's leaving me! Oh, I'm Dragon Ball. See you later. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? Ooh. No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Ooh. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the Bye. monitors? Did you see move you later, the Lady story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come Stanley, let's find the story. Let's find the story. Hey, let's do this one. Ooh, maze. Go through here. Well, somebody had lots of fun with the building tool, but looks like this. I am totally lost. Totally, totally, utterly lost. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can <laughs> promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? No! Okay, here we go again. Judge. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Come on, okay. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Yeah, Why don't this we is the back adventure the other direction and see if we missed Hopefully. anything. Right, we're heading back. That's different.
Aha! I uh -huh. knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Left turn. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Yes, uh. At least I'm not doing much talking this episode. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Looks mm. like something got dishonored. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Oh dear. But we won. <laughs> All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just Yay. follow the line. How simple is that? Ah, new place. Not been down here before. He's playing solitaire. I'm not too him. I think that narrates the Damien the would think the narrator was the story rather is. It's delicious. This direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, moon. is the story of no destination still a story? Here quickly. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. <laughs> now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is in nope, fact a one. byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience <laughs> of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Oh, this is a nice office. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Yes. You've missed the baby game, which quite frankly is the best bit of computer entertainment there ever was. And you missed the chance to hear me. Wait, because what? we're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, Yay. you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? Yay. The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? I'm quite happy following the line at the moment. <laughs> we're back oh, here again. No, no, <laughs> no, no, not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart.